Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play uh, WWE 2K14 on the Mysterious JG. Um, I'm going to showcase my created uh, wrestler in this one, and uh, I'm trying to think of a, of a mode that we never saw in this game. I don't think we ever saw a, a table match, but I'm really confused as to how those work. Um, Inferno match would be fairly simple, so I guess I could show that. Last Man Standing is just kind of the same as a regular match. I quit. Hell in a cell. Let's do an I quit match. I might have time to do more than one match here. Because what I'm going to do is show off my um, custom superstar. And. It's my attempt to create Black Belt Demon from Rumble Roses. Um, it was a toss-up of between her and one or two of the other characters, and I found a jacket that kind of worked for Black Belt Demon, but not really. Yeah, she's actually pretty pretty awful. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and have Black Belt Demon take on uh, Stephanie McMahon, and what what rules did I go for here? Was an I Quit match. I think I went for an I Quit match, yeah. And uh, I guess I'll explain as I go along. Um, if you guys, if, you, if you've been watching my channel, I'm sure I used Black Belt Demon in one of the various Rumble Roses Double X videos I did. And of course, I played through all the story modes, including hers. Hers was the very last one I did, uh, the original Rumble Roses for PS2. So I just did a, it's, it's not a very good job of creating the character at all. The hair is completely wrong. It's just, she has a flower in her hair because they, they couldn't, there's no ribbon. But, you know, it'll, it'll, it's just fun for a minute, you know, just messing around here. Took me forever to set up the moves, her move set, which is why I probably will never bother to make another creative character. It's like over an hour of selecting all the different move inputs. There's so many different moves in this game, and most of them I never really get to use because the grapple system I get confused by. So there's a special introduction explaining what I quit rules are, and now we'll get to see the Black Belt Demon's exciting entrance. You see, your Titantron video is called Evil Diva. It's about the best thing I could come up with. Her belt is actually on the inside of the jacket, but that's the best I was able to do. A jacket's the closest thing I could get to a kimono. I put some dragon stuff on her back. I didn't really mess with the default diva template for body, because that would have been even pervier than actually taking the time to put an Asian-y looking symbol on her ass. The ass of her underwear. There you go. This is the most generic evil rock in music. There's nothing anywhere near as cool as her, like, heel guitar rock theme from Rumble Roses, but this is about the best I could come up with. There was a generic Japanese -y, uh, music that I could have used, but... And then Stephanie McMahon, who's... I don't even think that's her Titantron video, because is... these are ancient shots of Stephanie. They did some sexy photo shoot of her in front of, like, steel, but that, that was... That must have been ten years ago. And she is that damn good, by the way. And she doesn't use this as a theme music. In fact, she hasn't used this as her theme music in a long time either. But whatever. They didn't put a ton of effort into Stephanie McMahon. I'm mildly surprised she's in the game. She hasn't performed in ring in the Divas match in a very long time. In the video game, she actually comes off as tougher than she should when wrestling other women. Because in back in the days when she actually was the women's champion, the whole thing was that she couldn't really fight for herself, and it was always, like, lots of cheating by others to help her win, but that's how, that's my recollection. Like, she gets in the ring with Trish Stratus, she's getting her ass kicked. So, the Black Belt Demon, she looks pretty horrible. Of course, half of the fun for me was the cool voice samples in Rumble Roses. We don't have any of that. She does have a pretty cool moveset, because I custom-made this, like, ludicrously powerful moveset. I at least tried to give her moves that she would use. Oh, I might accidentally win this one faster than I mean to, because I gave BBD a lot of submission holds, because that's <laughs> that was a really horrible looking attack, though. The good news is I was able to actually 
program the moves so that by and large, regardless of what type of grapple you do, the different control inputs lead to, uh, you know, I press up and grapple, I do an attack on the head, left and grapple, body, down and grapple, legs, right and grapple, arms, so I can actually focus in on what I want to do. And right now I'm focusing on the head. She doesn't look that bad in the ring. She doesn't look anything like the BBD character from Rumble Roses, but she doesn't look like an, you know, I don't know, the jacket is pretty awful. <laughs> Close line. And the uh, face wash, I don't know if it's more or less devastating when you don't have any uh, shoes on. This, not that this is a thing for me, I guess it is for some guys, but BBD is the only barefoot character in uh, Rumble Roses. She might be hurt. The referee should check to make sure she can still compete. I won't be able to bust her open, which is a shame, because I got some really pretty nasty anti-head offense that BBD can do. Oh, man, she countered. I was about to find out what one of my other attacks was that I hadn't used yet. <laughs> I think I might have given her that from multiple positions. <laughs> Super European uppercut. Another shot with the boot. She misses with a wild strike. She's going for it. Eat defeat. Oh, and she's called Princess, by the way. Oh no, Stephanie countered me. I just reversed her, though. And that was a huge counter. Bichinoku driver. Not a move of BBDs in the game, but fun anyway. It's like the idea of giving one of these girls the Michinoku driver and calling it the Bichinoku driver. Because I'm apparently a small child. And I gave her that because she's always got neck cramps. The only way to win is to force your opponent by any means necessary to utter the words, I quit. Spaz attack. Wait a minute, she's going for it again. The princess connects. <laughs> More eat defeat. Wait a minute, she's going for it again. This time it's actually going to hit. Talk to me. And that is it. That beating was too much for her. There you go. That was, that was pretty fast. BBD wins by way of I quit. The game quit, and therefore BBD wins. Is that her music? I don't even remember what her music sounds like now. <laughs> Didn't even get her uh, her lingerie the right color. I couldn't really get it to do a uh, sort of peach color. Uh, the bra and panties of her sexy sexy underwear do match, but you can't really see any of the bra because of the way the jacket's set up. So yeah, it's just a really horrible attempt to create a Rumble Roses character in uh, in this game. And my my hope was that, like some previous WWE games, you could set you could use the uh, female body pattern, but then set gender separately to uh, question mark, which would mean that you're allowed to have created female characters wrestle against guys. Uh, that game does not allow for this. Uh, they they worked to pretty great lengths to make sure that you could not have any kind of male beating on a female action in this game. Which, part of me wants to say bravo. At the same time, it's it's a... It's killing me because I, I actually had fun sometimes playing the, the girls and making them defeat guys. But uh, I think that what they really are trying to prevent is something I was guilty of at one point in the past, which is Bobo and I set up this tag match. Just It was like a guilty thing, but we just had like Brock Lesnar and Goldberg beating up on like two of... I don't even remember which two divas. It was two of the ones who don't really wrestle at all from that generation. They just kind of hang around and have, um, you know, dance contests or whatever.
AJ Lee really hasn't got to get featured in this game. I might want to play a match as her at some point. Eh, yeah, forget it. I'm going to do Inferno match, yeah. So there's an Inferno match. We've gotten in our time machine to go to WrestleMania 3. BBD is not capitalized there. Um, I don't know why I'm complaining that it's ridiculous for BBD to be, or to AJ Lee to be fighting at WrestleMania 3 before she was born, I believe. Almost, yeah, certainly before she's born. Um, but um, I, apparently I, th I find that unbelievable, but I do find it quite plausible that the Black Belt Demon, who's a fictional character, <laughs> is able to wrestle her. Oh my god, actions. So this will just be a way to showcase the Inferno match rules. Inferno matches tend to be very fast. It's kind of a shame. I'm, I'm using my creative wrestler, but I'm putting her in all these matches that aren't going to last very long at all. So she does get to come out to the ring instead of riding in a little ring, moving ring thing. Making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, the Black Belt Demon. Demon. Problem with uh, using Black Belt Demon in an Inferno match, uh, she wouldn't really be able to do an Inferno match because she doesn't have enough clothing that could, like, catch fire in an exciting, dramatic way and quickly be put out. She would simply have to have her flesh burned, <laughs> which is uh, usually something... You don't see Infernal matches often in wrestling, and when you do, they're usually two guys who have a lot of costume. And, approaching the ring, and they're usually pretty crap, actually. Oh, you don't want to get on her bad side. AJ Lee... More clothed than Black Belt Demon, although obviously not terribly clothed. Oh, her midriff's showing. I mean, that's fine. She's got little shorts on. Yeah, compared compared to BBD, she's dressed for a cold winter, but neither of them really <laughs> likely. If BBD was a real person, of course, neither of them really going to be going in a lot of Inferno matches without much exposed skin. Like, a typical Inferno match would be, like, Bray Wyatt, who, like, you know, wrestles in, like, a full, like, blue jeans and a Hawaiian shirt. Like, he, he's, he's a character who dresses a certain way. He doesn't dress as a wrestler. He would take on Kane, who's wearing, like, a full body suit. That's the last time they did an Inferno match. Kane's been in multiple Inferno matches, because his costume kind of lends itself to it. Super European uppercut from hell. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. It's as hot as the devil's dressing room in that ring. So I'm trying to show off some of her other moves. I was going to give her a leg-based finisher. I didn't end up doing that. I think in the actual Rumble Roses game, BBD's finisher is... Uh, she's got a couple of throw-based finishers, and her submission hold is actually... For, uh, hits the head. Or humiliation submission, but like, which is sad because like her best setup moves are ones that damage the leg. And she's got some good ones for that. I mean, she's she's a really powerful character in that game, but shades of Ric Flair here. Ow! AJ reverses it. Nice reversal there. Well, look at this move, Cole. Smart, sexy, evil. <laughs> WWE Divas. Why are they smart? I mean, I'm not saying they can't be smart. I'm just like, in what way do the Divas generally demonstrate their intelligence? <laughs> oh, what a painful kick! I'm not saying they can't be smart. I'm just like, She's got the moves. most Divas She's got matches the don't tend to involve a ton of strategy. They tend to involve a ton of hair pulling. Obviously, they. Some matches are better than others, but... Oh, man, I stopped countering at exactly the wrong time. Okay, so I'm going to burn to death here in the corner. You might be wondering, when the hell does the fire come into it? Well, eventually. This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. So I've decided I wanted to destroy every part of her body, apparently. 
I'm not focusing on anything. <laughs> Again, we're both wading through the fire. There is a mini game that works much the same as like the I Quit mini game or the Pinfall mini game. Where when your opponent is down, you can try to roll them into the fire. Except this is working pretty well. Her arm will be destroyed utterly. Oh, it's a different uh, signature move. I forgot I gave her this, too. Maybe I'll go on a journey of non-stop vertical suplexes. The heat is on. It's the on the street. What? That's a weird alternate. I didn't realize I gave her that as an alternate finisher. Yeah, it kind of was. And these shortcuts just make me so sick. I'm gonna throw up all over myself, Cole. Well scouted there by the Diva AJ. I might lose this just by virtue of not being willing to end it. <laughs> I like AJ Lee. I don't know why I suddenly decided that she needs to be totally destroyed by a fictional Japanese chick. Oh. Cunt punt, sorry. Shouldn't have said that. But I uh, know it's really not a move that would be t as effective as perhaps. If she, well, then again, she, AJ can only wrestle other girls in this game, so it's not like that was set up to be a anti-male tactic. Yeah, I'm sorry. I used the C word. I, I don't usually use the C word. A lot of face washing here. She misses with a wild strike. Wow, look at those flames. I'll give it to the wall. I'll give it to the wall. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Look, 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 look. Maybe I'll go on a vertical suplex journey. I guess there's no submission, so there's no breaking point submissions. What a maneuver! And the heat increases at least threefold when those flames leap into the air. Oh my, what a move! Well, that's devastating her body, that elbow that I'm doing instead of my super badass uh, head finisher that she usually does. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Her arms have been destroyed. That's good. Hell hath no fury like this match. Or a woman scoring. It's not even a uh, C punch. It's more of a uh, kick to the butt. Whoa, look at that impact. AJ reverses it. Again. Again with the finger. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. A sharp kick. A shark kick? AJ seems to actually kind of suck in this game a little bit. Uh, I hate to say it, but I played around off camera with her in matches against other divas, and it's not as easy to win with her as it really should be. Beating Natty Neidhart can be a nightmare. I mean, admittedly, if you watch AJ, and the, she's she's a good wrestler. She's better as a uh, ow. She's a really she's a great talker. Which is, you know, obviously a big part of it. Feels like they're wrestling inside a blast furnace. What a fierce kick! Bam, another kick. That elbow did some damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I what think that's what's happening kick. instead of uh, breaking point submissions is that elbow, which includes occasionally having an elbow drop treated like it's my finisher. Might as well use a bitch Inoku driver then, because I don't get to use my super awesome submission finishers. Everything except the legs. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. 
Oh no, she didn't. Oh no, she didn't. Yeah, well scouted. It's like I got hit with it twice in a row and then realized I should probably try to stop this. The Diva AJ is uh, being murdered by a fictional Japanese. Oh no, now she's got a finisher, a signature. This could be bad news. I knew there was a risk of this if I kept uh, goofing around. Oh, a scoop slam is her. Oh wow, it's actually really similar to my finisher. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It means I'm probably about to lose. Okay, no, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm winning. I guess if I'd stopped in the red portion, I would have been in trouble. She is countering this move a lot now. I really need to stop using it, but... She's like, I must defend my legs! They are all that I have left! Ow. Oh, come on. Get out of here with this, AJ. No, I just lost. <laughs> because I kept... I just wouldn't end the match until I finished off every every limb. And ultimately, this allowed AJ to triumph. So, uh, Black Belt Demon, who really shouldn't have been an Inferno match in the first place, is ultimately burned to death and becomes Kane. <laughs> Kanet. Yeah, that would be a great love interest for Kane, a... a an evil Japanese girl is <laughs> horribly burned. <laughs> Alright, well I can't let it go with that. And then another separate highlight of falling out of the ring. Wait, what did he just say? Drew Hellfire and Brimstone, AJ Lee with her sweet sexy music. Okay, so that wasn't really exactly how I was supposed to go. But yeah, I, I kept it going. Alright, so... Uh, the only way to possibly get revenge after something like that... I could do a table smash. So I haven't done one of those. It's another one where I could, I could easily lose. By, uh... So this, this uh, heated rivalry, no pun intended... We'll continue to tables match at WrestleMania 21 because <laughs> after <laughs> destroying every every atom in AJ's body except one or two atoms in her legs, uh, Black Belt Demon finally uh, let the match go too long and, and was burned to death. And now she's back from the dead and um, said some reconstructive surgery, so she's still looking good. Not as good as she does in Mumble Roses, of course. Making her way to the ring. There really didn't seem to be any outfit that would have worked. Black Boat Demon. I'm surprised they let me use that name. You get to pick four words, up to four words, Howard Finkel says. Uh, so it's actually, now that I think about it, it's uh, pretty amazing that I actually got get Howard Finkel to call her the Black Belt Demon. Um, obviously, that wasn't going to come up as a name that Lawler and Cole could use, although I had hoped that Demon might come up. After her successful Inferno match. <laughs> yeah, they don't usually have uh, Divas and Tables matches either. I'll give them credit for this much. They let the Divas in this game have all the insanely dangerous match types the men have. They just won't let you actually have Goldberg go out there and, like, spearing and jackhammering uh, Stephanie McMahon. She's pretty confident considering the beating she took last time before she managed to escape. She's crazy! So this is, like, I guess... This might end up being the last video of the LP. I don't know. Uh, I'm run running out of stuff to do. But this is, uh... I guess this is, like, the, uh... WWE 2K14 tribute to Rumble Roses. In order to win this match, all you have to do is put your opponent through a table. Of course, that's much
much easier said than done. This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. The passion, leaving your body and heart and soul in the ring. Woo! Face wash. I guess I can use submission moves now. Wow, that was a nice German suplex. Now that's how you do it. Money for nothing and your chicks for free. I'm usually not sure what she's talking about, but I'll watch her do it any time. A sharp kick. This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies. Wow, what a suplex! This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies. Is this another one where I can't do submission moves? Yeah, I can't do submission moves. I, I built a submission specialist, and I keep doing gimmick matches where there's no submission. Ow. Oh, no, she did it. AJ Lee is desperate to find some breathing room here. Oh boy, when you talk about adorable, that describes AJ perfectly. But she knows how to perform in a WWE ring. Carefully. Oh no, I. Oh, okay. That for a minute I thought I was getting a submission move there. Should have known the better. No disqualification matches cause as much damage to you as they do your opponent. That's always something that you want to avoid, in my opinion. But then again, I don't really like to get hurt. Well, this is by, uh, Black Bill Beam. Oh, no, never mind. That's too much information, Lawler. <laughs> Pat that off as being a Lawler. Oh, what a painful kick. Here she comes with her devastating elbow finisher. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Nice dodge there. AJ looks like she's on her last legs here. Oh, this WWE Universe wants to see tables. There's a drop kick. Here we go. Of course, you know I had to give her this move. <laughs> Sorry, fans. Buster, Buster. <laughs> Not really something in character for BBD, but I knew I wasn't going to get around to making any of the other girls. Nobody hold for that one. Oh, here we go. This is much more in character for BBD. And since you can't actually submit to this because it's illegal, they'll actually let her do it. And it has draws no commentary whatsoever. Surprisingly, her legs are fine. We might be seeing the beginning of the end. Come to me, AJ. The princess connects. This is it. Well, that's it. Probably should have saved that. But now her, her limbs haven't taken any damage, so. To stop this one. Oh, she does it again. Might want to just uh, not make the mistake of last time. Oh, tables! They want tables. You think? In a tables match, they want tables. I can't believe everything There's got to be some kind of way I can bring the table to the ring. Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. This match could end up anywhere. Well, look at that move, Cole. Look at it. I command you. Now back to the ring. I love a woman okay. that shows passion. Back into the ring now. An aggressive shot to the midsection. The and an aggressive foot eating. Probably I can use a finisher to somehow put her through a table. Did I just lose? I should have lost the match. I just put myself through a table. Or knocked it over. I, I guess I knocked it over. Leaving your body and heart and soul in the ring. Oh, there you go. Right through the table. That was it. Okay, didn't really expect to win that way. <laughs> Pretty anticlimactic end of the table match. Alright, finish her on the floor. That's pretty extreme, I suppose. Eat defeat. 
currently being used uh, by TNA uh, Knockouts champion Gail Kim. And here is the ludicrously stupid ending. AJ Lee's foot apparently shattered that table as she was already falling down to the mat. Black when you win belt. Your opponent out, mm -hmm. you win big. There is nothing like WrestleMania. Good night, everybody. All right. Well, I'm gonna do one last match before I call this a video. You know, it's probably gone really long now, but this is the last thing I can really think of to do. I guess I could do Hell in a Cell. Yeah, fuck, I can do Hell in a Cell. I was gonna do a submission match since I keep not getting to use my submission that I gave BBD. But this will be the, the war to settle the score, the brawl to settle it all. AJ Lee defeated us in the Inferno match. We put her through the table in the worst possible way. This clearly isn't over yet. We have to go back to WrestleMania 3 for some reason. WrestleMania 3, a real hotbed of BBD uh, versus AJ Lee matches. The real WrestleMania 3 may have featured the Jumping Bomb Angels. It's possible. The following Diva Contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making her way to the ring. <laughs> hell in the Cell, invented Tokyo many, many years match. early for a women's match Black in this alternate Prince reality. Demon. Oh, Demon. comes the most dangerous match of all. 20 feet of steel in Hell in a Cell. And it would just be kind of weird to see uh, Divas fighting at Hell in the Cell. That, that's pretty much never, ever going to happen. Certainly not in WWE. I guess in theory, somebody might start their own women's wrestling promotion. They've popped up before. Uh, and uh, have that kind of crazy gimmick match. But no. Not in WWE. I think they would consider letting the women use Hell in a Cell. Uh, would degrade Hell in the Cell as far as being like this. Awesome, rarely seen, only used for the biggest feuds. I mean, it kind of already happened when they had like Here we go big boss the man in a Hell in a Cell match. But 2,700 feet of reinforced chain link, and every inch of it can be used as an ally to maim your opponent. All right, now I got some breaking point submissions going. You could pass out from a hold like that, and you probably will. Huh? This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, cutting off circulation to the brain. You can pass out from a whole life. WrestleMania back. is all about cutting off circulation to the brain. I didn't actually mean to do it that oh, time. Man. Cutting off circulation to the brain. You can pass out from a hold like that. Just squeezing down on the head here. Again, I didn't oh, mean to do it there. Right you can do them by accident. Anytime you press and hold the A button, you get that. This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. The passion, leaving your body and heart and soul in the ring. Spear! Wow! They might be broken too! <laughs> Into what? Well scouted there by the Diva AJ. I'm not sure, but AJ could be with us. And she slaps on the submission. I'm not sure, but AJ could be dead. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. The passion. Look at this, it's locked in. Really going to work here. Just wrenching that thing. I'm not bothered to slap the I mean, I was. Now I'm just like, eh, forget it. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. I don't really need to keep going after the arm, JG. AJ reverses it. AJ is bruised and battered here. Oh, submission! The hole's locked in! Just embarrassing her at this point. I thought I had more different types of submissions set up than I did. I'm probably not well understanding the control inputs properly. I poke. Works on uh, regular round eyes and slanted eyes, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, out of nowhere. 
This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. The passion. Submission locked in tight. This interesting hold. Can she work her way out of this hole? What, what do you think? Things are going through that what diabolical right chicken you stepped like on your head you and crushed your neck? Your and that could be what we're seeing here. Oh, oh. A sharp kick. Spear, spear. Spear, spear. Like a sack of potatoes. There's the submission. <laughs> she might have no choice but to tap. That's an interesting kind of armbar. I thought I had like an interesting leg hold here, but apparently I either set it up wrong or I didn't actually have one for this position. She has to use a Fujiwara armbar, folks, otherwise she just isn't Japanese. Maybe I'll go on a journey to some other countries to learn their armbars as well. I think we could see a lot of punishment in here. <laughs> the hell in the cell not really coming into things so much. What incredible impact. And she told me to bring it, so I did. This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here's the, her leg submission. The Brock Lock. I think Eigel actually gets this in Rebel Rose's double X. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Big elbow. Oh no! Talk about getting launched out of the ring. Undertaker taunts. Neck adjustment this is taunts. WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen, the passion, leaving your body and heart and soul in the ring. Nice oh no, she reversed. Back into the ring now. The diva action now sees. And will this be it? Yeah, I'm not gonna win with a roll up. Come on. I mean, I I released there. I did not want to win with a roll up. This is what WrestleMania is all She's about. Pretty heel, it's folks. Uh -oh. No one home for that one. <laughs> the hell was I even Oh, he's going for the Danny Davis. Oh, That's what I call it. It's not its actual name. Go. The Prince has hit it. Will that be enough? No! And now looking to <laughs> Will that be enough? No, it won't be enough! There's the submission. She might have no choice but to tap. There's no escaping this. So I let her go. Things are going through that mind right now. When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Cole, this is one of my favorite matches in all the WWE. Hell Women beating each other to death. No, AJ not really getting a lot of offense here. Whoa, well, there, as soon as I say it. Of a wallaby. <laughs> That's Torgo. A swift kick. Another shot with a boot. A stiff uppercut. <laughs> European uppercut of doom. And did you hear the impact on that kick? So I think I'm in this match relatively safe to do all this crazy nonstop beating. Although at any point she could get a a signature and start screwing things up for me. Why can I suddenly not do my finisher? Signature. I don't know. Maybe I'll go on a sentimental vertical suplex journey. Or maybe not. Maybe now. Oh, there's the you know what pun again. I want to make sure I have a finisher saved up before I go outside of the. Oh, what a counter! Dang, she countered me. AJ lining it up. Oh well, she went for her finisher uh, submission, which was foolish because she didn't hadn't done enough damage for it to actually work. You have to be careful when you have a finisher that's a submission hold in this game. You got to be. 
careful about burning uh, a finisher using it if you haven't actually set it up to, you know, damage that body part. There's another great kick. All right, bitch, you're going to start countering my shit. I'm going to miss the Danny Davis. No, but it should get her down to red. This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fictional girls fighting AJ Lee through the magic of a time machine and hell in the cell. Okay, submission moves are good. Oh, wow. Tried to go for something other than a submission, then I got countered. There's another Bichinoku driver, it's for funsies. Oh no, sorry, vertical suplex. Right into the ropes. The Prince is hit it. Will that be enough? This is what WrestleMania is all about, ladies and gentlemen. The passion. Let's come hang out here for no particular reason. Do -do -do. It's over. That's why I left the ring, apparently. Again, no count outs. These competitors can do whatever they want outside of the ring. Oh man, listen to the impact as flesh meets steel. <laughs> cool. Oklahoma slam through the cage. And now every part of her has been destroyed. Wait a minute, I'm getting a beautiful view of her ass from here. Cole, ho, ho, puppy. She's doing sexy poses way too high up for anybody to actually be able to see and enjoy them. Can I eat, defeat her through the cage? Not if she counters. Come on, get over here. I want to eat to feed you. This would not be a good move to use here because I've taken myself out. Actually, no, she landed on her feet and apparently took no damage. And by she, I mean BVD, which is just kind of silly. Yeah, yeah, so I was wondering if it would actually realize that I, I couldn't figure out what button would be to climb back up. Uh, so I tried hitting no button to see if she would get back up by herself. But They're about to do battle on top of this sinister structure. Good thing we don't have a taunting rule really in the WWE. I really shouldn't have taunted right there. Not at all. Yeah, she would have gotten a 15-yarder there. She's going for it. The princess connects. I guess this is... This oh, is I can't... I can't about, pin her from there. The cells claimed another victim. This is unbelievable. Apparently, I'm not allowed to just uh, jump down. Yeah, it won't let me dive down on her from the top of the cell, this but uh, I believe I have murdered a at this point. <laughs> the passion, leaving your body, and whatever. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I don't know if she's going to get back up. I'm just tone up here for a while. And here's some more trash talking. Actually, she's bowing. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. And now descending back to the floor. Okay. I don't know if she's going to get back up, so. Oh, man, as soon as I say it. What a vicious speed. Not really a high point considering some other things that have happened in the match, but. Alright, bitch, time to say you quit so that you can get to the hospital. Oh no, she actually used resilience to defeat it. Apparently, she has resilience skill. That's nice to know. 
Not everybody gets it. Just a dominating display. Yeah. I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. All right, I'll go back to the move that I used all the time at the beginning of the match. That's it. The match is over. Huge win for the black belt demon as she continues to just kind of not like Reiko and really not have much else going on as far as character goes. The how the roll up was a highlight. I guess eating def eat defeating my way um, through the floor was probably a highlight. I would have thought AJ falling through the cage would have been a highlight, but what do I know? All right, there you go, folks. So that was just me goofing around for how long has this video been going on? Oh, 45 minutes. The Black Belt Demon. What a phenomenal contest. I can guarantee this match will be discussed heavily on WWE.com. Which doesn't exist yet because it's only WrestleMania 3. Yeah, WWE.com. People are like, why the hell are divas having Hell in the Cell matches? And who is this person? And he just showed up and wearing a jacket with some underwear underneath beat up AJ Lee. We certainly have never heard of Black Belt Demon. I mean, nobody bought that freaking game. Anyway, all right, so that was basically me goofing off for the better part of an hour. Uh, and I'm pretty much done. I mean, I'm, I'm just out of stuff to do with this game. So uh, I think I'm going to have to call it here. Um, if there's any more to this series, it'll either be... Uh, I don't know, I might take another shot at the streak, but I sort of don't think so. I sort of think I've had what I'm going to have as far as beat the streak mode. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, please stick around, comment, you know, check out other LPs on my channel or whatever floats your boat, and uh, I'll be seeing you guys around on the interwebs. Bye-bye.